What's up? What's up? In the garden, you know. But you don't know already, I got to put in the walk. Because without the walk, how are you going to eat? And I love to eat fresh vegetables, fresh herbs. I love that. So. I have to do what I have to do when coming and, and taking care of my plants and especially when you're trying to eat healthy. Hey, my journey to success, how you doing? Thank you for being here. What's going on? Yes, yeah, so I'm just here and I'm looking in the garden and I realize the leaf they taste with some spots but the thing about it with me is I don't want to spray them with no chemical and these things so what I want to do my thing is I rather clip the limbs in cut the leaf them cut them off take my time cut them off and just get rid of them. Because, you know, sometimes people recommend spraying different things on the plants, but I'm not sure about that. I just want my garden to be natural and I'll do anything I can to keep it natural. Okay, so I'm gonna turn the video around and I'm gonna show you exactly connection very bad. I don't know if you guys can see what's going on here but if you know it is this leaf no oh you spray a plant journey to success and it die that's why I try to stay away from a lot of things, honestly. So because of this leaf, instead of me go and try to spray thing on top of take them off the plant. Because I do believe once you take them off the plant, the plant can start. You see, I have it have squash on top of it right now. So once you clip these leaves. It ain't really a problem. And I have two squash growing up here. So I don't want to spray no chemical on them. I rather to just cut them and leave them. Okay? I'm trying to go alright, I'm trying I'm trying to stay in an area because the connection seems to be really bad. I want to pick up an area that's the connection is really good. Yeah, what I have here, this is black eyed peas growing up here. All these are black eyed peas. Okay, I'm trying to find an area. Okay, guys, these are okra growing up right here. So much of okra. That I gotta be in this garden on an everyday basis. The thing about okra is, I love okra because okra is a very healthy plant. The okra is very healthy. And they tell us, according to prevent cancer. So this is why I try to invest in my okra, try to pause, you know, I have some peppers growing up, okra coming. This side guys, the service is really bad, so I, I don't even know, they telling me that. All these are nice tomatoes growing up. 
I'm trying to leave a few of these okra that I can get seeds. Yes. So over here, we have a lot of black eyed peas growing up here, which I want to make a trail for them. I got to make a trail because black, I really love black eyed peas. So if I make a trail for them, it will help me to be able to harvest a lot from them. Yeah. So I need to find a spot because I want to sit down and basically have a conversation about gardening for a morning. All right. So I'm going to stay here for a minute and I'm going to talk for a minute. All right, guys. This is an organic garden. Man. Yeah, this is an organic garden. Everything in this garden grows natural. No fertilizer, no sort of chemicals, absolutely nothing but natural products growing in this garden. These are edos growing here. Some of these edo plant is like five feet tall i'm not sure if you guys know about edo if you're in the life i'm not sure but this edo plant is at least five feet tall you know so the thing about me with can eat so i don't just grow the vegetables the tomatoes, the peppers. I try to grow everything, which is okra, dashin, edos, tanya. These are food. These are food that you can use and make porridge. You could make them in soup. You could make them in a lot of different things. So I try to grow plant and replant them and you get food coming for the next year so edo is a good plant this look look the height of these that these things man look the height of these edos i have to do a video after this live i'm gonna do a video about edos which is caribbean food i'm gonna do a video that's cucumber we have here. I don't want to go down there because the service is bad down there. What it is, I love to grow food. And I believe as a gardener, you should grow what you like or what you enjoy eating. You should try to grow some herbs. You should try to grow things that you really like to eat. You know what I'm saying? And then also, I do think a person should study their plants. Because if you really want success, hey, how are you doing? Sifting and sewing? Yes, if you want production in your garden, if you really want production in your garden, guys, you have to learn about your plants, okay? The thing about me is I study my plant. I, do not, I don't just take gardening as planting food and eat, able to harvest and able to eat some food. I take garden personally, deep, because I learn so much in the garden. I learn about life in the garden. I learn about basically almost everything in the garden, in the jungle, in the bushes. You'll be surprised 
the things you could learn in the garden, especially if you set up your garden a certain way. You see how this garden set up? This garden ain't set up as nothing to look pretty. It's, it's set up in a, in a way, nature. The trees are wrong it, the bush are wrong it, everything are wrong it. But at the same time, there's a lot of food in this area. Okay? We are banana tree. We're growing Caribbean food, the island food. Banana, tanya, dashin. We're growing eggplant. We're growing five different types of peppers. We're growing cauliflower. We bro we're growing five different types of tomatoes. We're growing four different types of okros. We're growing black eyed peas. We're growing uh, turmeric. We're growing ginger. We're growing squash, all different types of squash, about three different types of squash and about three different types of zucchini we, we plant. So I create this garden to feed, able to feed. So when this garden producing, you don't need to go to the supermarket for anything because everything is right in here. You can come in this garden every day and able to get something to eat. Either is okra, either is tomatoes, either is herbs. You know, and I have a lot of herbs up inside here as well. So you can get something. So this is how you got to set up your garden. Set it up in a kind of way that you can able to eat from it on an everyday basis. Every day, you could walk in the garden and naturally grab something to put in the pot okay so this is you know this is the garden this is a organic garden we add nothing to this garden more than dry leaf hey the backyard life how you doing thank you for being here what's going on Yes, I'm just having a little garden chat. And what I want to show you guys as well. When you're doing in-grown garden like me, right? Raised bed in-grown. If you notice, I do not put nothing on the ground to keep the weeds down. Me, have to walk even harder. But I love it. Mega love beauty. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate it, backyard gardening. Thank you for that. Yes. So it make it harder for me because I got to always be cleaning, pulling out the weeds. Them, but guess what? All these weeds, you use them back in your garden. You you see what I'm saying? So you when once you do this, you ain't got to be adding these chemical and all these other things to your garden because why your soil you're using back all these grass and all these leaves everything going back in your garden so now you have a rich decent garden that grow healthy food okay i try not to be at it's not the same as growing your food. okay i don't really want to go to the service is really bad so i don't want to go too far but this is a hub right here let me let me show you this hub. this hub let me tell you the name of it as well it name sweet steva sweet steva this is the hub, and this tastes like if it have sugar this tastes like if, if, you, if it had sugar on top of it. Naturally tastes like, like sugar. Like sugar is on the leaf. This is awesome. So these are herbs I have growing up here. This is a yam. This is a yam I have growing. This is, I think it's a white yam. I have different sorbets. I have pineapple sage. 
Na say, Jam. Oh, gosh, wait, name again. You guys supposed to know it. That is slip me. I know what it is, but it's slipping me. Yes. But all these are hope. This is another hope right here. This go really big. And the Asian people love to eat it with salad. Sometimes they, they even boil it and drink it as well. So up in here, we have a lot of herbs growing in this area. Look, we have tumorant growing up here. This is, this is a tumorant growing right here. We have ginger, which this is ginger right here. We have ginger growing up right here. This is ginger. What I'm saying, guys, growing your own food, growing your own food, it makes sense. You try to do it as natural as possible. Why? Because it's so invest in your time, prepare your soil ahead of time so when you prepare your soil and you're ready to plant your soil is good just this is a natural garden everything grows natural in this area here there's so much plants i want to show you guys but every time i go in certain area along there but things you can do in your garden don't throw these away guys don't throw these away don't throw them away it's either you throw them in a pile or you throw them in your raised bed like in the fall in the fall these are stuff you can throw in your raised bed and just leave it there but in the spring, this will start breaking down. It will already start breaking down and start. You see, not everyone have the access of getting rotten tree trunk and leaves and stuff. So I kind of understand. I kind of understand. But try to do it as natural as possible guy create your garden like a place where in the morning whether it's in the evening relax enjoy the song watch the trees them dance watch the trees them just enjoy it create that place create that place create the energy relax and have a peace of mind because we all need a peace of mind so just come and relax just able it's a blessing the energy that's in the garden it's a different energy but the thing about it is we got to create that energy and the energy we want to create is got to be a positive energy that when you come you feel that peace that peace inside the garden instead of you come in the garden miserable no you're not supposed to be miserable in your garden around your plants that's a no-no that's a no-no let it be a positive energy energy flows through your garden and you will see a whole different ball game. Gonna grow different. Gonna produce different. That energy. We need that energy. Alright. So yes guys. I don't want to go no further. So I'm going to end the video right here. But I'm going to do a video about Caribbean food growing caribbean tonight and i also will be going live tomorrow at 8 p.m 
You know, this channel is about helping the new gardeners develop into growing food the natural way. Without using chemical, without using pesticides and these things. We grow garden naturally. We build our soil naturally. The thing about it, you're not going to build your soil overnight. Your soil is going to take some time. Thank you guys for being Peace. Oh, I see two more people.